Hi everyone, you're back with The Lone Wolf once again. Today's article is in the Huffington Post, so read from that what you will. What women mean when we say men are trash. And this this is just going to annoy me. Like, off, straight off the bat, it's going to annoy me. It can actually be translated into masculinity is in transition and it's not moving effing fast enough. By Salma al Wadani half Egyptian, half Irish, Muslim writer, traveling the world eating cake and dismantling the patriarchy. Well, yeah, I mean, the entitlement. Traveling the world eating cake and dismantling. First of all, patriarchy, it doesn't exist. You can't demonstrate to me that it exists in any sort of objective metric. It's complete, it's just subjective. It's like a, it's like Voldemort, you know, it's like a ghost. People keep telling me it exists, but they can't provide any hard evidence that it does. Traveling the world. So you get to basically just go around eating cake, drinking coffee and air-conditioned offices and departure lounges. All, all just built up infrastructure that's been built up by men, right? You know, men invented the Boeing 747 jet, right? Air conditioning. All of the home comforts of the 21st century so that she can sit there writing toxic articles about blokes, right? Anyway, that's going to be a running theme through this piece, I, I imagine. If you listen carefully on any given day, you'll hear the words men are trash like a gentle hum vibrating across the globe, an anthem, if you will, a call to arms and a battle cry. A sign of solidarity even. Enter any room, social event, dinner party, creative gathering, and you'll hear the phrase from at least one corner of the room. And you'll naturally gravitate towards that group of women because you immediately know you've found your tribe. It's basically the password to the peed off at men club, which I've been head girl of for quite some time. Flicks hair. Ooh. Yes, that's an accolade I'm proud of, and I'm thinking about putting it on my CV before you ask. Oh man, these oh, they're so entitled, so arrogant, so conceited. But that's just the thing and exactly what the phrase is. It's peed off anger and frustration and hurt and pain all rolled up and squashed into three tiny words because when questioned by a male friend who I like a lot and think is a wonderful human, it turns out I don't really think all men are trash. I was raised by a wonderful man with only a brother for a companion and then grew up with lots of male friends. I know many wonder, wonderful men have even been in love with some of them. The, woman, the women around me also know these things, and despite the anger in their words, they're not looking to end the entire gender, as appealing as it sometimes seems. You couldn't say that. Like, If, if you're a dude, you could, literally could not say that. Oh yeah, you know, I think that uh, yeah, women should be ended, the whole gender, and just wipe them all out. You, you couldn't write that. You literally could not write that anywhere. But because it's women, they're allowed. You can literally talk about fanciful notions of wiping out an entire gender. That's, yeah, you could only do that on the left. The phrase men are trash can actually be directly translated into masculinity is in transition and it's not moving effing fast enough. That's what it really means. For two things to support each other, they need to grow together in the same direction. And when this doesn't happen, it creates a horribly jarring experience. Well, you're just assuming that it's growing it could be receding, you know. Like if you look at if you look at femininity, for example, um, that's receding. I mean, there's there's just make no bones about it. More and more men are exhibiting uh, more and more men are exhibiting feminine traits, and more and more women are exhibiting masculine traits. So she's saying it's in transition. Um, masculinity is masculinity, if you ask me. Going back to antiquity, we've understood what masculine traits are. You don't get to just reframe the debate. You're saying that it's not moving fast enough What towards what you want it to be. Nonsense. Who, you, don't, you don't determine what masculinity is. They're objectively found. It's objective truth. You don't get to reframe it and create a, build a straw man. Nonsense. By that I mean, women have been playing with ideas and constructs of womanhood and girlhood since we popped out of the womb and were shoved in a pink blanket. 
We have constantly grappled with our gender, what are men haven't. Not because we particularly wanted to, but because the world forced us to. We were asked questions from a young age that had us thinking about gender before we even really understood it. We were asked what type of girl we would be. We would, would we be a girly girl or a tomboy? Or which Disney princess were we? As we got older, we were asked if we were the marrying type. Perhaps the loose woman type. We never stopped thinking about the kind of girl or woman we were going to be. And with cultural influences that started with the Spice Girls and then on to Caitlin Moran, Lena Dunham and Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. We had people to guide us through the minefields of femininity, feminism, what womanhood really meant. The point is we've been constantly playing with our gender and what it means to us and with that comes a constant evolution and greater understanding. It is the constant questioning by society of the types of woman we would be that has in essence led to the rise of ethnic movements and the watershed moments of also me. The irony is not lost on any of us and had the patriarchy not being so demanding in its questions or forced us into so many boxes and types, perhaps it wouldn't be experiencing the unsettling shift in power that it is so obviously struggling with now. There's Voldemort again. On the other side of the spectrum, boys were never asked what type of man will you be. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know what about the male experience? You've got no insight into the male experience. There's plenty of, of times and instances where people I've known in my own experience and in life, they've been asked what kind of man you're going to be, where you're going to be like, you know, courageous, virtuous, stout, strong, ambitious, confident, um, you know, being a, a breadwinner, being a go-getter go in the world, being someone that people can count on. What does, she, what does she know? She has no insight into the male experience at all, and she's so dismissive. There were no types, and it was generally accepted that in the long tradition of a hunter-gatherer, they would play with sticks and stones, do sports, and be strong. Because their place in society was so firmly accepted and unchallenged, they never had to validate their presence in it. Masculinity was handed down from father to son with little or no deviation from the typical provider-protector role. That's called biology, and that's called... Um, that's, that's just the human experience, and it's, it's true of most other species on this planet. There are defined roles. But as ideas of womanhood have evolved, and we've reached some of our greatest levels of independence, ideas of manhood have stayed stubbornly still, causing this horrible, jarring sensation between the genders. What we once needed from masculinity has become useless to us now. Oh yeah? Let's wait and see, shall we? Women slay their own proverbial deer in the working world every day and bring home the bacon while well, the digital revolution has made physical labour largely unnecessary. Largely unnecessary? Tell that to steel workers. Tell that to railroad workers, man. Miners. People working in foundries. This, these industries still exist. Right? People that work in engineering, in factories. Dudes. And the digital revolution that's made all of this allegedly unnecessary. Digital revolutions created by men. Name me, I can name you one woman who's started an app. And that's um, the, the woman who founded Bumble, right? But she did used to work at Tinder, which was founded by a man, okay? All the other tech companies, Instagram, Facebook, Apple, it's all dudes. This digital revolution has been brought about by dudes. And physical labor is not unnecessary anymore. Look at all, this air-conditioned room that you're writing this garbage in. Even whether it's your condo, whether it's uh, an office down in downtown, it's built by a man. And that's a fact. Superior masculine strength to kill an animal and drag home the carcass while building houses to shelter us from the elements is really not necessary. Who built your house? Who maintains your house? Who plums your house? Who fits the electrics, right? Who fits the wastewater pipes? Like, how can you be so ignorant? How can you be so conceited and entitled, man? Nonsense. I can deliver my dinner. Again, deliver probably created by a man. Buy a house in a government help to buy scheme. Government. Tax money. Who pays the majority of the taxes? Men. Without even dating a man. Unless you live in London, in which case even the gender pay gap won't make him enough money to get on the property ladder. So while men haven't become redundant, their version of masculinity is, uh, has. Try and do without it. Make all the men disappear. Do a Thanos on all the men in the world, in the West, in America, wherever you are writing this piece. 
Do a Thanos, get rid of all the men, make them disappear. Society would collapse tomorrow. Society would collapse tomorrow. So when women across the land cry out, men are trash, what it really means is your ideas of manhood are no longer fit for purpose and your lack of evolution is hurting us all. It's a plea to start talking about masculinity, defining new constructs, adding more definitions to the pot and being less one-dimensional about what it means to be a man. It is our way of saying, we need you, we, need, we just need you to get there faster. And in short, it's time to level up. Arrogance. Like Only on the Huff Post can you get away with writing this trash. Misandrous trash. And it's good to see some, uh, not many comments, but there's some brothers in here calling out this garbage. Damas is trash. No, just no. <laughs> well, to be fair, there is still lots of jobs in construction and the trade, so physical strength still has its place in society. That's brilliant, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll include the link to the article so you can, well, read it yourself and give yourself a nosebleed. But... Um, it's it's misandrous garbage and you can only get away with first of all you to to be able to write this you have to be completely ignorant and entitled and you have to be middle class and you have to have been brought up with all of the amenities of life just given to you so you don't appreciate it and it's completely ignorant of the other the other gender in in the equation it's absolute absolute toxic garbage um and and that's why more and more men are just saying you know what you don't appreciate me, you don't appreciate what we're doing for society, I'm just going to walk away, step back. And uh, that's, the, that's, that's what you have to do. Don't try and fight this garbage. Um, take responsibility, walk away, make sure that you're all right. Uh, look after your own assets, your own finances, your own dreams, go traveling, ignore, and just ignore all this rubbish, man. Right, I hope you enjoyed that breakdown. Um, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks.